Hey, this is Jay Lee from FrogCube.com, and many people ask me why bromeliads? Why should I use them? Uh, what good are they? Uh, and how exactly do I put them in the tank? Well, first of all, uh, I tend to raise imitator dart frogs, but many arboreal thumbnails in general will raise their tadpoles within the water that sits in a bromeliad, as well as uh, lay their eggs on the leaves here. And uh, that's pretty much why you'd want to have them. Uh, I'm putting in uh, quite, quite a few. I like to put in at least uh, six uh, in order to give plenty of options for my dart frogs. In the past, I used to actually make them easily available to pull them out when I needed to. So I never uh, solidified uh, where they were placed. But uh, generally speaking, if you're going to place them, first of all, you cannot buy the Home Depot kind. Those, uh, they're not going to grow like pups do here, where they have a stem that comes out and grows another vermiliad. Um, they, they tend to be uh, right, right uh, connected at the bottom. Uh, those from like Home Depot, don't buy them there. There's some places online you can buy them. Uh, if you go to actual nurseries, where uh, bromeliads are sold. Uh, you can often find them like this. And I just basically cut them right off of the main bromeliad. And uh, all I do is I go to the back here uh, to any cork, or if you have great stuff, it just sticks in easily. But in a place of cork like this, I basically drill a hole and then I just take the bromeliad and stick it right in the hole. I mean, that's pretty much it right there. That's all you need to do. Um, that way, later on, if there are tadpoles in this bromeliad, I just actually just uh, pull it out every once in a while and, uh, you know, check it. See if there are any. Well, uh, that's it for me. As you can see, I'm putting in quite a few bromeliads into my system here. But uh, the tanks are definitely looking pretty good. I need to... Give it a few months, I think, because I really want moss to grow in. And I still haven't picked out any vine plants or any uh, terrestrial plants, but uh, I think it's going pretty well. And again, this is Jay Lee from FrogCube.com.